Now we can define the governing equations and add the boundary conditions. Start by double clicking Setup in the Workbench window. When the Fluent Launcher opens, select Double Precision. This increases both the precision and range of magnitudes that can be represented, but at the cost of using increased memory. Under Solver Processes, change this to match the number of CPU cores on your computer. This allows for effective parallelization that will improve the solution time. Once this is set up, click Start to start Fluent. Once Fluent is opened, perform a mesh check by selecting the option in the top bar. We get no errors in the command pane, so our mesh is sufficient to get good solution results. To refine the governing equations, ensure that Steady is selected. Next, check the gravity box to apply a gravitational acceleration. The artery is oriented vertically along the z-axis, so we will add a gravitational acceleration along that axis of negative 9.81 meters per second squared. We can further alter the governing equations of our mathematical model under the models option in the tree. Expanding it, and double-clicking on Viscous. In the pop-up window, we can change the model to Laminar. And click OK. This tells the Fluent Solver that these are the governing equations we want to solve. We enforce the steady and laminar assumptions, and the Newtonian and incompressible assumptions are included by default. We will work to better define them next. Back in Fluent, to further define the governing equations, we need to specify material properties and boundary conditions. Expanding materials in the tree, Right-click on Fluid, and select New. This allows us to define material properties for a new fluid. In this case, we can name it Blood. We can now enter the given density of 1060 kilograms per meter cubed and a viscosity of 0 0.0035 kilograms per meter second. Click change slash create to save the new material. And click yes in the pop-up window to overwrite the previous material. We can then close the window. Next, we want to make sure that blood is set as the material for the flow domain. To do this, expand Cell Zone Conditions and double click on Fluid. In the pop-up window, ensure that material name is set to blood. This means that the solver will use the correct material properties in the solution process. Click Apply, 
and close the window. To define the boundary conditions, we can double click it in the tree. Start by selecting Inlet in the list. And making sure it is set to Velocity Inlet. And clicking Edit. In the new window, we can enter the inlet velocity of 0.315 meters per second. From the listed velocity specification method, the solver is setting the velocity normal to the boundary to the prescribed value, which is what we want. We can then click apply and close the window. Next, select Outlet 1 and ensure it is set to Pressure Outlet and select Edit. In the new window, ensure the gauge pressure is set to 0 pascals and click Apply and close the window. We can do the same thing for Outlet 2 by selecting it in the list, ensuring it is a pressure outlet, and clicking Edit. Again, ensure the gauge pressure is set to 0 pascals, click Apply, and close the window. Next. Click on Operating Conditions. The pressure conditions at the outlets were set to gauge pressures, meaning they are relative to a given reference value. Using gauge pressures is useful to avoid errors caused by small differences of large numbers being saved to memory. To reduce this, we can change the operating pressure to the true absolute pressure at the outlets of 13,332 pascals. Since we expect the magnitude of the pressure variation in the artery to be small, this will help reduce the round off errors. Click OK to save this information. Lastly, click Wall in the list. And ensure it is set to Wall. This automatically applies the no slip and no penetration boundary conditions, so we do not need to make any changes. Doing this fully defines our mathematical model that we can now begin to solve. Make sure to save your project.